If you wish to take that virtual design and turn it into a physical product, there are two ways of doing that. One is what is called a subtractive method and the other one is an additive method. The subtractive method has been with us for a long time. To give you an idea of a subtractive method, imagine a sculptor. The sculptor has a block of marble and inside that marble is the statue, let's say the statue of David. In order to reveal that statue of David, the sculptor has to sculpt, has to remove material until the statue is revealed. That's subtractive because you're subtracting material. In engineering, in industry, subtractive technology is a machine tool which starts with a solid block of material, you machine out everything which is not needed and you're left with the part or the model that you're trying to create. Additive is a more recent technology. It started in the early 80s and it is a technology whereby you add material to make the part. So if we go back to our craftsman, if to our creative designer concept, it's more like a potter who adds the material that is required in order to make the pot and only uses the material that that pot requires. In industry, this technology is known as rapid prototyping, as additive manufacture, additive fabrication, or 3D printing. We use the term 3D printing simply because it's easier to understand, particularly if you're not in engineering. So we have both technologies. Let me start off with the uh, subtractive mechanism, which we call the studio mill. Our studio mill is the lowest cost five axis machine in the world. Why five axis? Because you need to be able to get at the model that you want to make from all sorts of different angles in order to be able to create a complete 3D model. So what happens? You have your creative design sitting on your PC or your laptop. You import it into the Studio Mill software and then the Studio Mill will turn that into a complete 3D model. We've set the machine to run and uh, we're leaving it to run for the moment but again in true Blue Peter style here's one we did earlier. So this took about 45 minutes to machine. I can not just show you that one but other parts that we've machined as well. Typically in order to buy a, a five axis CNC machine tool, in this case um, a five axis milling machine, you'd be looking at £25,000 or more.